Hello everyone. This is lesson number six, part two, uh, where we are going to talk about the gravitational force and Newton's universal law of gravity. Uh, regarding the law of gravity, uh, this is the equation that represents the gravitational force between any two masses. As you see here, the force of gravity is directly proportional to the multiplication of the two masses divided by the distance square between the centers of the two masses. So that tells us that the force of gravity is directly proportional to m1 times m2. And the force of gravity is inversely proportional to the distance square between the centers of the two masses. What does that mean? Let's look at some examples here. As you see in the notes, if you have two objects, one of them has mass m1, the other one has mass m2, and the distance between their centers is r, and then you have the same two objects, but we double the distance between the two objects. So now instead of r, it's 2r. How the force of gravity would change? Since we change the distance to 2r, the force of gravity, f, will be g, where g is a constant, it's called the um, the gravitational constant at this very small value times the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object we did not change the masses so it's still m1 times m2 divided by the distance square now the distance instead of r we have 2r and remember it has to be squared so now if we apply the equation it would be g times m1 times m2 divided by as you see, nothing changed in the numerator, but in the denominator, we have to square everything inside the parentheses. So 2 will be squared, and r will be squared, so this will yield r squared. So you can see here the force has decreased by how much? If you compare the second force here, F2, which is the force of attraction between those two masses, compare it to F1, when the distance was r, this is F1, and uh, the force of gravity is action and reactions it's a mutual force between the two masses so what happened here the force decreased from g m1 times m2 over r squared this was the first force to g times m1 times m2 over 4 r squared so what's the difference between those two which one is bigger and by how much if you look here f1 is bigger because now r2 is multiplied by one fourth this is basically one fourth F2 is equal to 1 fourth times G times M1 times M2 over R square. 1 over 4 means 1 fourth. So F2 is 1 fourth the value of F1. Meaning when we double the distance between the two masses, between the two objects, the force of gravity decreased by 1 fourth. And that's what we call the inverse square law. If you go back to the equation here, the inverse square law states that whatever you do to the distance, whatever factor you multiply the distance with, you have to multiply the force by the inverse square of that factor. So if we change the distance from r to one half r, what will happen to the force? The force will change from f to the inverse square of one half, which will be what? Which will be two squared because the inverse of one half is two and then you square the two and this will give you four f so the force will increase four folds if you cut the distance by one half meaning if you bring the two objects closer to each other that's the inverse square law and notice here it starts with inverse then square so again assume that you change the distance from r to 3r you triple the distance between the two objects you increase the distance three times for example from 50 meters to 150 meters between the two objects what will happen to the force so what you do you inverse the factor that you multiply the distance with which is three the inverse of three is what it's one third the force so the force will decrease by one third but the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance, not just the distance between the two objects. So you have to inverse, then the second step square. Delete. You square the change in the force. So the force basically will decrease by one ninth of its original value. So let's take an example. Let's say, for example, 
the force is equal to 50 newton when the distance was equal to r let's call it small r what would be the force if we increase the distance from r to 5r meaning we increase the distance between the two objects fivefold now again what you need to do is to take the inverse of the factors multiply by the initial distance and square it inverse then square so the force would become the inverse of 5 is 1 fifth 1 fifth and then you have to square it inverse then square the original value of f which was 50 newton so this is 50 newton so f1 was 50 newton let's call it f1 here so what would be f2 so that would be uh, 1 fifth times f1 and f1 was 50 newton so basically 1 fifth square is 1 over 25 times the 50 and this will yield 2 newton so basically the force has decreased from 50 newton to 2 newton when you increase the distance between the two objects five times now what happens if you decrease the distance by one fifth what would be f2 if the distance r is now one fifth r so again what will happen to the force here f2 you have to take the inverse square of the one fifth which will be five square times the initial force which was 50 newton so basically you are multiplying 25 5 squared is 25 times 50 newton and this will yield 1250 newton so the force basically will increase from 50 newton to 1250 newton now how about if we increase the mass like in this example we kept the distance the same but we basically increase the mass from m to 3m what will happen here the force will increase nine times because now you have g times 3m1 times 3m2 which will give you 9m1 times m2 divided by r squared so the force will increase nine times notice that this law is the general law of gravity i uh, hope you found this lesson educational let me know if you have any questions thank you